Hello guys, this is Alex Portok. Serena was in the center of attention even though she lost this final against the young 20-year-old Naomi Osaka. Osaka takes the first set 6-2 after a perfectly balanced play with sharp serves and nerves of steel. Serena not being in her best form, not serving too much with the first one. In the second game, the second set, Serena gets a first code violation warning for receiving coaching from Muratoglu, who made this gesture towards her. On the second violation, it came from Ramos for a racket breaking that Serena committed after Osaka made a re-break for 3-2 and coming up to serve for 3-0. The rules stand clear and back up the decision of the umpire. Because a player gets a second call violation, a point is given to the adversary. So 15-0 for Osaka in the sixth game of the second set. Serena then lost it, the game eventually, but her composure more importantly, ranting at the umpire that she's not a cheater. Now, Serena finds herself down the break, 3-4, and in the one minute time break, she launches at the referee, again calling him a thief. So she gets called violation for verbal abuse, and that being the third one, according to the rules of tennis, she loses the game, and it's 3-5 in favor of Naomi Osaka. After the match, Muratoglu, Serena's coach, told reporters that indeed, he was coaching on that first uh, code violation warning, but defended, saying that Serena probably didn't even see it, which made her go to the umpire like that. And added that 100% of the coaches do coaching from the stands in all matches, but nothing happens from the umpire's behalf. More interesting is that Serena said after the match that she was very confused to hear what her coach admitted about, saying that they have no signed codes. She said she actually messaged him, asking him what was that all about. I've seen other men call other umpires several things and I'm here fighting for women's rights and for women's equality and for all kinds of stuff and for me to say thief and for him to take a game it made me feel like it was a sexist remark. I mean like how uh, he's never took a game from a man because they said thief. For me, it blows my mind, but I'm gonna continue to fight for women and to fight for us to have equal, like Courtney should be able to take her shirt off without getting a fine. Like, this is outrageous. The fact that I have to go through this is just an example for the next person that has emotions and that wanna express themselves and they wanna be a strong woman and they're gonna be allowed to do that because of today. Maybe it didn't work out for me, but it's gonna work out for the next person. So as you see it, Serena, I guess, is a little bit off with her post-match commentaries and on-match commentaries. She lost her nerves, she lost her cool, and it was not okay, especially coming from a champion like her.